Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. On second down, here's the option. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Now he'll try to run with this. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And now Jackson will look to throw it, eluding the pressure right. And this is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. This one complete to be Cole Hardman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Mahomes now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. A gain of six there on first. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Mahomes completes it to Hardman and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35 give him 14 on that one and a first down well, that certainly has to feel good it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit sometimes I think in the huddle the quarterback just says hey who's gonna make a play for me I just need something right here and the end result there nice first down drive keeps moving Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. But well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. Ooh, Lord have and he left. takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. 
an ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turning to his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Good. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7 nothing. Nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Marquise Brown was the intended target. And it's second down. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open. And it would have been an easy throw. Now an option play on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Decent run, maybe hoping for a little bit more. Does, though, set up third and manageable. And every play this run, if it's blocked perfectly and executed perfectly, it's set up to go for a touchdown, right? But I like the way you described that one. Just get into a third and manageable. Nice decision-making and took care of the football. Third and two, here's Jackson. Throw right side taken in by the tight end, Bryant. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and run the option. Flushed out right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Gutsy decision to keep it, but it turned out to be the right one, and all of a sudden, fourth down becomes first down. Gutsy and smart, because he's used to making a lot of decisions. You know that on every play he has to do it. In this case, he made the proper one, and that turned into a big first down. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Second and seven. At the Chiefs, 44. Jackson from the shotgun. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. They got the ball to the outer third of the field, but they could not seal that edge and lost yardage. And I love how you brought that up because sealing the edge is often a function of the offensive tackle on the line of scrimmage, oftentimes a tight end, maybe your H-back, someone to set the edge at the line of scrimmage to give them a spot to get to. If you're not able to do that, you're not able to turn the corner. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Looking to throw is Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. Come on and get it. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 64 yards. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Chiefs 14, Ravens nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. An offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Now Jackson. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing. Second and nine, Jackson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. On third down, Jackson flush to his right. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. On fourth down, here's the option. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So they decline the penalty. So that seems a little <laughs> odd. I'm trying to work through it and work with them to figure out why. Well, someone's got to be confused. I, that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that the bench is saying take the penalty, and somehow in the heat of the moment, they thought they were saying decline the penalty, and that's going to work against them. They should have taken it. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Mahomes now on first down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Mahomes. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line.
Mahomes now to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Man open left side. It's Williams. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Nicole Hardman there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. No problem there on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. A gain of 16 yards. First down, Baltimore. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's going deep, and this will be caught at the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. First down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And this will be caught once again by Brown. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. At the 24-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. And they run the option on second down. They'll buy some time right. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. A gain of 14. First down, Ravens. He'll keep it himself on first and 10. It's Dobbins. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the Chiefs' 10-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. That's caught yeah, inside the 20. 
And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Butker now to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Chiefs 28. Ravens nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack comes from Anthony Hitchens. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, They'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions. And now it's look like none on this one either. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked <laughs> off near the 29. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Butker on for the PAT. Another one through to extend the lead. Chiefs 35, Ravens nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. 
you've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson and hopefully you can hem him in. Taken from about the 12. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Two-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-point drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And this throw will be intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. After the interception, here's Jackson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Jackson's Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big gain of 39 on third. Again, Jackson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. On second and 11 now. Jackson, he's going deep for Brown. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And Brandon, this is a real nice job to finish.